friends, it's Amanda here from Fun Hands On Learning. In today's video, we're going to see a handful of brand new, fun, hands-on learning activities that I have created for my students. You're gonna see these activities work on literacy and math skills. These activities are going to range okay, from preschool through grade one. So pre-K, kindergarten, grade one. I hope you enjoy. Today, we're going to look at how to do this syllables activity. So we are going to be counting the syllables and words, which is a great skill for students to learn to help in their reading and in their spelling. All right, so this activity comes with all sorts of cards here, and students are going to have to read the words and figure out how many syllables are in the word. Now, when we say syllables, we're talking vowel sounds. We're not talking just how many vowels are in the word, we're talking how many vowel sounds are in a word, okay? Because there might be two or three vowels that say one sound, right? So what we want the students to do is say the word, and as they say it, they're going to put a manipulative in the circles for each sound. So I'm going to say pizza. Pizza, I hear two vowel sounds in the word pizza. Now I am using some buttons, but you can use all sorts of manipulatives, whatever you have on hand. These are pom-poms with magnets attached, and these are little erasers. So those are just some examples of the manipulatives you could use as your students are doing this activity. Now after they have placed some manipulatives, then they're going to find the number card and put that on top. So now we have finished this word, pizza, has two syllables, and we can move on to another one. Okay, let's look at the next card, basketball. Let's use our little pom-poms this time. Bass, cat, ball. I hear three syllables in the word basketball, basketball. And then we're going to place our number three on the card. For this card, I'm going to use my erasers because I actually have tiger erasers. So let's count out the syllables in tiger. Tiger. Tiger has two syllables. Tiger. Two syllables. Boat. Boat. How many syllables do I hear in boat? I hear only one syllable. Even though there are two vowels, it makes one sound. So boat has one syllable. Elephant. L -e -f -e -f elephant. I hear three syllables in elephant. Hi friends, today I'm gonna to show you how to use this fun subtraction math activity. It comes with lots of different math cards. There are multiple different pictures. They all have like a spring or summer type theme to them, but you could use them any time of the year. And this activity can be done in a couple of different ways. So what you do is you have the students take a card. So we're gonna start with this one. And in order to subtract, we have our pictures here that are going to help us. Now the activity comes with some plain white squares that you could use to cover up what you're subtracting. So it's kind of like we're erasing that picture. So we have four flowers. We're gonna subtract two. One, two. How many are left? Two are left. We could use a dry erase marker to write in our answer. Or I have magnetic numbers and some puzzle numbers. And you could always have your students use those as well if you didn't want to have them use a dry erase marker. And they could just use those numbers to fill in their answer. Now I have another option. Instead of using the squares that come with the activity, if you have your own manipulatives, I have some squares here that we use for different games. And we could use those to cover up. So here I have nine butterflies. I'm gonna take away three. One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. So my students would know that six are left. Okay, here we have eight minus five. I decided to laminate 
the bottom of one of the pages that comes with this activity. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cover up five with this little laminated strip. So we have eight flowers here. Let's cover up five. One, two, three, four, five. How many are left? I see three are left, so we're going to write three. Or of course, I can have my students find the number three in their magnetic numbers and cover up their answer that way. If you do this activity on a cookie tray, then your magnetic numbers will actually stick to your tray, which is kind of fun for the kids as well. All right, let's do one more with this strip of paper. I have nine. I'm going to take away four flowers. One, two, three, four. How many do I have left? One, two, three, four, five. And there you have it. I hope your students really enjoy this subtraction activity. This is a short and long vowel literacy activity. Here we see the picture cards. You will want to have your students place a picture card on the mat. They will look at the two pictures. They will find the words that match the pictures. There should be a short vowel and then it should be changed into a long vowel word. Here I see the matching words. Bat, short vowel. Then if I add an O, I have boat, long vowel word. Now you're going to have your students build the word on the mat. After your students have built the words, have them read them. B at, bat, b oat, boat. Also on the mat here at the top are phonics rules to remember. It reminds the students that when there is one vowel in a word, it usually says the short sound, a, a, a. When there are two vowels in a word, then the first vowel says its name and the second vowel is silent. O, O. This word work activity is a birthday party. Students have cards that they will write their words on. They have birthday cakes, and then they also have candles to spell out their words. You can use this activity with any list that you have. Maybe you're working on spelling words. Maybe you're working on sight words. In my case, we are working on words that have the R sound, A-R. So I wrote a few of our words on the cards. You will want to have a dry erase marker handy for your students to write their words. They're gonna take a card and write one of their words that they're working on. Here I wrote park. Then they're going to take a cake and they're going to build the word park. So students will build their word on the cake after they have written it. Then they can work on the next word. Of course, I wrote my words out for my students already, but you will probably wanna have them write their words themselves. And then they write a word and they spell it on their cake. That's birthday party word work. This word work activity has a dinosaur theme. You can use this activity with any type of words you are working on. Let's say you're working on sight words, spelling words, or like I am here, we are working on a phonics skill. These words all have the aw sound. They are diphthongs. You could spell the aw sound A-W or A-U. I have written the students' words on the dinosaurs. Next, students will make their words on the dinosaur strips with the dino eggs. Students can write their own words using a dry erase marker and then put the word together with the dinosaur eggs, or the teacher can write the words for them. I hope your students enjoy. Well, thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy learning. Bye.